Clerk of Zoning Board of Adjustment Meeting for Monday, August 5th, 2013. Getting a stereo effect. And the first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First order of business is to review and approval of the minutes of the July 15th, 2013 meeting. I make a motion we accept as transmitted. I have some corrections. Okay. Okay, Elaine, thank you. Um, first line, Diane Hardy stated all about us have been notified. If they had been, it should be had been. If it's... Had. Had been at the time. And then uh, the comma after stated... On the second paragraph, first line, Mr. Piaski had stated the comma. There shouldn't be one there. And then on the third line, the last word in is in twice. So it should be out. What, Where is that last one located? That? I'm sorry. What line? Thir um, second paragraph, third line, the end. You have an extra in. In, only in. Let's see. Necessary to have the shed in only in. Okay. Okay. Take out. I don't know. They have the shed in the proposed location is where it should say. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No. Any other corrections, changes, amendments to the minutes? Except those as a friendly amendment, and we'll waive a formal motion on the amendments, if that's okay, because they're not of right. substance. All those in favor of approving the minutes as amended, please signify it by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? And no, Bill was abstention. So it's four, zero, and one. Okay. First item of regular business, and only item of regular business, well, at least in terms of applications, is the application of F.J. Durrell Corporation, uh, Perkins Agency, Inc., and David Loisel. Public hearing for a special exception reference section 2.03b2 of the Newmark and Zoning Ordinance. The applicants request a special exception to permit changing the existing single family dwelling to our professional office with a residential unit on the second floor. The lot is located at 195 South Main Street, tax map U4, lot 27 in the M3 zone. And a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, all the abutters have been notified. Yes. I noticed that there are a series of certified mail receipts. I took a look at the application that it had the had the abutters identified on it, and it looks like they all tie out. So I just want to confirm that mm -hmm. we have we have notified we have notified the abutters. Okay, and um, mm -hmm. to anticipate what I think is going to be our new rules of procedure, to make clear, it is everybody from Elaine down is going to be acting on the application tonight. Richie is perfectly welcome to participate in the discussion during the public comment section right. but not during the deliberations right. so that is clear hopefully um, who's participating and who's not in the decision this evening that being said I'll ask the uh, applicant or the applicants representative please step forward to the microphone and tell us why you should get a special exception Okay, as a little background, I'm Lynn Perkins Sweet, and this is my brother sitting over here, John Perkins, um, and we are the owners of F.J. Durrell Corporation and Perkins Agency, Inc. Um, a little background, F.J. Durrell Corporation and Perkins Agency sold our premises at 218 South Main Street to the Newmarket School District, which probably you're all pretty much aware of and we need to find a new home. So we've spent the last year looking around at different places and we feel very lucky to have found uh, this particular piece of property. Um, we prefer to stay in our same general area that we've been doing business in since um, 1964. Um, our business has changed a little bit. It's We don't have anywhere near the amount of 
traffic that we used to because a lot of our business now is over the internet um, by email etc which I think a lot of small businesses are, are doing these days um, we're a very quiet business um, our usual hours of operation are 8 to 5 and that's Monday through Friday um, we have five <coughs> excuse me five staff members uh, three of are on a four-day work week um, we want and need to be visible to attract new customers um, with this in mind um, we have been looking for a suitable location our intent is to use the existing residence structure at 195 South Main Street making only minor exterior changes keeping the look and feel of the present neighborhood it's a beautiful building and we want to keep it that way um, we will be probably removing at least one existing porch to accommodate a handicap ramp um, any changes that will be made will be compatible with the surrounding neighborhood um, the reuse of the building will include an office on the first floor and uh, continued residential use of the second floor um, we have a permit into the New Hampshire Department of Transportation to have a one-way access in to the property off from South Main Street um, at the end of last week I had a little disappointing news and um, they advised me that this probably will not go through um, I did contact our engineer and he's working on a secondary plan uh, for access uh, ingress and egress from Maple Street I do have a copy of um, his preliminary plan we haven't had time to go over it yet because we just found this out however I have a request of you as a board too um, we're looking for some guidance from you if possible to see if there's any way that we can appeal this because if you've looked at the plans that we've submitted so far I think you'll agree that an ingress from South Main Street is the safest way for um, people going um, into that property um, and we're kind of hoping that maybe you have had enough experience I haven't had much experience with this so um, if there's any experience that you've had or any advice that you would give us on that we would very much appreciate it um, and if you want me to answer any questions I'll be glad to do so is there anything further that you need to know from I would I would ask if you can describe for us briefly the nature of the changes to the exterior you're planning. you said minor changes can you give us an idea of what those are going to be there won't be much change to the exterior most of the changes will be on the interior um, we are planning to remove one possibly two of the s front porches right, um, they don't go porch. anywhere right now the doors have been taken off but we're thinking about reopening access to one of those porches and making it into a handicap ramp right. um, other than that exterior wise we're not planning to do much we we may have to put in uh, some new windows um, but we're going to try to keep within keeping of you know the, of the building itself okay um, I Which don't know of any other uh, the porch that we were thinking about in our original plan was the one um, on the main street uh, on the uh, new market side um, the east side I should say we're from the parking lot as you're, yeah as you're facing the building yes on mm -hmm. the left yeah. Yeah. yes from Main Street if you're facing the building it would be on the left mm -hmm. right. no left <laughs> you're <on> the left <laughs> <laughs> what about signage uh, we have an existing sign and we would like to put that sign um, on the property and relocate it at the front of the building um, it's a, it's within the, the sign regulations the engineer has measured it and he said there is room plenty of room with a setback to put the existing sign that we have in the front of the building okay so there's no variance required for, for a sign no okay <coughs> but DOT has said that they're not going to give you a curb cut to get in off of 152 at this point um, they have given me a preliminary uh, advisement that it hasn't been formally declined yet but they are considering declining it site distance 
Yes. Yeah, no, it's actually, be, there is some regulation that says it should be at least 100 feet mm -hmm. from an existing Curb cut. intersection. Yeah. yeah. And um, the measurement from Maple Street to the driveway was about 80 feet. Hmm. And I think that's what they're basing it on from, I've had discussions with them and that's basically what they're basing it on. However, you know, my, my thinking is that it's, it's so much safer to do it that way, and it also allows us more flexibility as far as, well, less pavement um, that we're going to have to put on the site, um, better drainage. I mean, that, I, I'm just a little worried that that um, isn't going to be the best way, best use of the land. Mm -hmm. However, I know the Department of Transportation has their own set of criteria, and we may not have a choice, but do we you have, have no any advice on that? We have no, we have no say and no idea. Okay. Aside from asking them what you can do. And I actually have a call in. Was it uh, James Driver? Driver, right. I have a call in to him on another matter, mm -hmm. so I can maybe get a sense of whether the... I don't believe there's an appeals process. There Bob is. And I, I already asked him, and he said there is an appeals process. But um, he wasn't overly hopeful. I take it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's worth trying, I think. You know, I mean, this is, we're going to have to live I with mean, this for a long time, and I just, I really feel that this is the best plan. Um, so I don't know. This is also subject to site plan approval? This is going to have to go to the planning board for site plan approval because mm -hmm. it's a mixed use that's development. That's really where the issues of parking yes. get addressed. We're just here to decide, you know. <coughs> the, the kind of the narrow issues of the impact on the structure and the um, whatever we're, whatever we're, uh, we're permitted to consider under the under the ordinance and not sort of larger issues of access mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, this is not really within our purview, but planning board will be asking you those questions. There. Is it within your purview uh, to um, to look at the plan and make a recommendation to the DOT? No. No. Okay outside of our competence and it's okay. outside of our jurisdiction mm -hmm. my opinion richie do you do you agree well i i think the only issue in front of us right now is the special exemption yeah. for the uh, office yeah and, and that's that's the scope of what yeah. what our job is tonight mm -hmm. so anything we do is going to be we can we can approve it but you still have to go through all those other processes yes. and we have no control over it yeah. They'll have to go to the planning board. Well, anyway. have to go to planning board. Has anyway. to go to planning board. Planning board would yes. have more yeah. weight with the DOT than we would. It's true. Okay. But I have major. They weight. put a lot. Of, <laughs> right. I don't know about that, but um, they do listen to what the local planning board says. Good. Okay. And I can make a few phone calls on your behalf and kind of put some feelers out. We would appreciate that. that would be great. I personally have never seen them appeal. You know, grant an appeal, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. What about Rick? Is Rick well, I, don't yeah, it's right. I, know. I know, but Rick, I don't know. I could ask him. You could you could talk to Rick Malaski. It couldn't hurt you. Okay. It may not help, but it couldn't hurt you. Okay. I don't know. And we can talk, Lynn, about it okay. during mm -hmm. the week if you'd like. But I don't know anybody there anymore. So <laughs> he's <laughs> not the current property owner, correct? Yes. Uh, no. No. No, we are not. We have a purchase and sale agreement okay. contingent upon the zoning and planning boards accepting us as an office. Right. So is your intention to purchase the property? Absolutely. If we can, if we can. You get the ex special exception. If we can go, go through the zoning and the planning board, um, then we will be, yes, purchasing the property. That is our intention. And we do have a signed purchase and sales agreement stating that. In terms of the special exception criteria, are there questions for the applicant? <coughs> nope. Pretty straightforward. Right, you can see a piece of paper making this way. From, from what I from what I see, it's exactly within the guidance for the special exception. Yeah, I have no additional questions for the applicant. Came in late. <laughs> Is this you, Rich? Yeah. Uh, 
If somebody wants to turn that into a motion, I'm happy to happy to consider it. Unless if there's no further questions. I'm sorry. We yeah. have to have a public hearing. Yeah. Is there any further questions for the applicant? Okay. Is there any member of the public who wants to comment on the application at this time? Thank you. Can he speak from his chair? If it's more comfortable for you to speak from your chair, I'm happy. That's, that's fine. I'll come up here. Okay. Take your time, please. Okay, my name is Larry Moore and my wife Arlene over here. We own the property that abuts it on the side. The only concern I would have would be as long as the water is addressed, you now it's going to run off the parking lot because looking at the land, looking from our side, well lower than what this is, as long as that's addressed. And the other thing I'd like to see on one of the plans here, it's showing the 24-inch maple to be removed. I'd like to see that stay in the plan. Uh, maybe they can move the road a little, the driveway a little bit, and keep it in the plan, because that that maple throws an awful lot of shade on the house. And when we have a week like what we just had two weeks ago, mm. they, they much appreciate it, you know. But outside of that, uh, we don't have any objections to it because you know the neighborhood is this quiet neighborhood, and the type of business she's proposing. You know, I don't think you're going to notice much of anything going on. Okay. So that'd be our only concern is the water running off of there, you know. As long as that was addressed, it's okay with us. Thank you very much. I fully anticipate that's an issue that will come up more fully in the planning board, planning board. site plan review process. Look at the water guard, you know, there, which should be. I would anticipate that the planning board would probably look for engineering review of some kind. So... Yep. Any other member of the public here to comment on the application? Okay. Ready to close the public hearing at this time, if there's no further public comment. And I'm prepared to entertain a motion if anybody feels it's appropriate to make one. <coughs> well, I'll, I'll use, use your, your uh, document. As the applicant has requested a special exception which is an allowed use in the M3 zone under section 2.03 B2 to changing the existing single family dwelling to professional office with a residential unit on the second floor. The applicant has shown by their statement of fact that the proposed use does not alter the character of the neighborhood. The existing residential structure shall be reused with only minor exterior changes, including a handicap res uh, entrance. The site would look and feel in keeping with quiet residential and office use compatible with the scale, design, and site arrangement of the surrounding neighborhood. The upgrade of the property would enhance values of surrounding properties. The location and building are well suited for the purpose of an office and residence. Therefore, under Section 2.03b2a, Office Use and Conditions, the existing residential structure shall be reused with only minor changes and two, the intended reuse of the structure is a feasible use. I will make a motion to grant the applicate, applicant's request for special exception to permit changing the existing single family dwelling to professional office with a residential unit on the second floor. The lot is located at 195 Main Street, tax map U4, lot 27. M3 zone. I wonder if we need to make it conditional upon planning board approval. It's in the ordinance. It's not necessary. Okay. I second it. Further discussion? See, uh, the only comment that I have is, uh, is it uh, important to consider that if we do grant the special exception and this property sale does not go through, if there are any other uses um, of professional office space um, that another tenant might use or someone else might use to um, modify the structure that maybe um, we haven't considered. Is there a possibility for that? I would, 
I would I take the view that we're acting on this application on the evidence presented at this time. Okay. And so there's if the if for some reason the transaction doesn't come to fruition, this application has no precedential or binding value. And if a new application comes in at some point, we'll have to take that up on the evidence presented the, at that it, time. It right. doesn't yeah. become tied to the property. It's it's not like become tied to the property. Runs with the land. Gotcha. I understand. Right. All right. No additional questions or comments. Does that make sense, Rich? Anything further? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Okay. Next order of business. You're welcome. Oh. Thank you. It is the second, the second second reading of the uh, proposed um, Zoning Board of Adjustment Rules of Procedure. And circulated very quickly after the last meeting. And uh, is there further discussion of the proposed changes to the ordinance, this, the rules of procedure at this time? I have none. I don't either. No. no. I'm all set. Rich, you all set? I think Diane's got it. Yep. As right, far as I'm concerned. Yep. And so the great thing about it is, if we work with this for a while and we decide it's not working for some reason, we'll just change it again. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's pretty darn good. <coughs> okay, all those in favor of, uh, well, I entertain a motion. I'll, I'll make a motion we adopt these uh, new rules of procedure. I second that. Okay, and we're referring to the th what's labeled the third draft dated July 16, 2013, correct? Correct. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nice guys have it? Any new business or old business to come before the board at this time? Everybody's happy? Motion to adjourn. Someone made a motion to adjourn? I'll yes. second that too. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you.